Hi everyone, I'm Mathieu from Shipdiver and welcome to a new QMini Tuesday video. Today I'd like to talk about how you can uh, customize the layout and user experience of your model review page on Shipdiver. As you know, when you uh, share or um, make your model view page public, you uh, are able to um, let other users interact with your model. But the model view page now contains a lot of information uh, that are uh, correspond to a lot of different use cases. And you might want to be able to curate a bit what you show and what you hide from this page, right? So in order to do that, uh, one can go to the viewer settings uh, here and go to the general settings. And you will find a lot of options that have directly uh, to do with uh, the layout of the page. Um, first of all, you can enable parameter validation for your model. That means uh, that instead of directly updating parameters on the page, what will happen is that you can uh, update several parameters, commit their values, and once you're done, apply the changes to update all parameters at the same time. This is particularly interesting for models that take a long time to load. Right. The second thing you can do is to disable parameter during updates, which is also uh, a useful features for, for models that take a long time to compute. If you do this, as parameters get uh, updated and our servers respond, it's not possible anymore to update the other parameters, which prevents users to change a lot of parameters at the same time which uh, and, and wait for an answer uh, from the servers. Um, the rest of the features here under allow to change which parts of the page you want to display um, uh, uh, as part of the menu. So here you can choose to hide or show different parts, the save states, for example, attribute visualization, desktop clients, etc. So for example, if I had attribute visualization and save states here and save, you will be able to um, make the, the layout of your page a little bit more minimal uh, because all of these tabs will not be uh, available anymore here. And you can focus on what's uh, important. The last uh, feature I wanted to talk about is the feature now to group exports with parameters, which instead of uh, showing the exports in a separate tab, will group them together with your parameters, or you can also reorder them together, right? So here, for example, I, I say like this, and if I go back to my model view page, I will have, I showed my save states again here, but here I just have one tab with all my parameters and the export buttons. The last thing I wanted to mention is that some, not all, but most of these features are available uh, for the iframes. There, there are um, similar options in the iframe menu here where you can curate how the embedded iframes that you have will show and which parts will be visible or hidden. That's it for today. If you uh, like this tutorial, we have a lot uh, of other tutorials on our channel. And you can follow us and ask us anything on the forum. And I'm looking forward to see you for the next tutorial. So